morning i just woke up it's early in the morning so i said to make this video to show you what my morning routine looks like so i'm going to make this video um i have to take a shower at some point but i'm not going to show that but i will come back after i have taken my shower to show you um what i apply on my face in the morning and then ah uh, you can hear my voice i'm so out of it so remember i showed you about i've spoken to you guys about this anti pimple soap that is what i've been using so you can see it's all messy on the inside first thing when i wake up in the morning i use this i apply this soap on my face so mm, I wet my face and I use the bar and just rub it on my face like that. This is one option. And I do this before I take a shower, like 10, 15 minutes before I take a shower. This is one option. The other option that I used to use, and I will alternate. I still use it, I will alternate, but I don't use it a lot because I really want to see what this soap does. The other option is my Peau de Lune. So I will use a cutting disc, apply Peau de Lune on my face, and then go about my business brush my teeth do whatever i want to do then i hop into the shower but today we're going to be using this anti pimple soap okay so what you can also do is you can use this soap in the morning same process and then use podilune at night or you can alternate use podilune in the morning and then use the anti pimple soap at night but for right now i'm going to use the anti pimple soap so let me okay some people just like to lather the soap and put it on their face but i prefer to use the bar soap like this and just rub it on my face like that so i break out a lot around my hairline just rub around your hairline yeah i break out a lot around that area my hair a little bit under my jawline as well i have some active acne under there and in the eyebrows i used to miss my i used to skip my eyebrows and then i realized that i will have acne in my eyebrows for some reason they're so painful so i just keep rubbing the cell on there like that and then i'll put it back in the box I'll just leave it here at my sink in. so i use this up every day because i really want to see i actually use it twice a day now because i really want to see how it works and so far it's it's been okay so far now i'm just gonna brush my teeth and then take a shower and then come back and finish the routine. Okay, so I finished brushing my mouth. I'm gonna hop into the shower and then I'll be right back to continue showing you my daytime face routine. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Hey, I'm done taking a shower. Now, let us continue. This right up there, that makes me feel cute. So, first things first, I have to wash my hands because I just applied my lotions and everything. I'm using a regular hand soap. This is a hand soap that I got from, where did I get this? Uh, Marshalls, I got this from Marshalls. So, any hand soap you can find, Take a pea size like that and wash your hand. And make sure the water you're washing your hands with is either cold water in the summer or lukewarm water in the winter time. Because it's summer, I'm using cold water to wash my hands. Okay. So I'm washing my hands. I'm gonna really focus in between the fingers. See that? I'm focusing in between the fingers right there. So that's the part that usually turns super white and it starts to look burned, you know? We're just gonna wash all the way to the wrist. 
There you go. All right. Paper towel. Dry your hands. And you don't want to use the same hands that you use with the strong products that you used to apply strong products on your body, on your face. Okay, you don't want to use the same hands. So, first things first, um, I'm gonna go with my Clarins Double Serum. This is my morning routine, okay? I'm gonna go with my Clarins Double Serum right here. Find a way to also put it on the screen. Mm, okay. So if you have vitamin C, I advise that you use your vitamin C first. If you have vitamin C, use your vitamin C first before applying this one on top of your vitamin C, okay? I don't have vitamin C right now. So I'm just gonna apply this. Okay, go with a pea size. This thing, very expensive, so it's like $134. So I'm gonna go with a very small quantity. I always go with two pumps. That's it. So you have to warm it up. Warm it up. And then press it on the face. Like that. See how I'm avoiding my eye circles i don't use anything around my eye circles this area i don't apply my serums nothing at all i will show you what i put on those areas so gently press okay that's good so normally I will put hyaluronic acid. So this is a hyaluronic acid that I've always used. Um, it's called Progenix Hyaluronic Acid. As you can see, it is empty. So I could not find it. So I went ahead and bought the L'Oreal, um, is it which, Revita Lift 1.5% Pure Hyaluronic Acid. So this is the one that I bought. I bought it from a Walgreens, so I don't know how I can link that. There, but I'll find it off of Amazon and try to link it. Even though I'm not getting paid for that. So, oh, it's a beautiful bottle. That's what the bottle looks like. That is gorgeous. So I'll be applying this hyaluronic acid and my Clarence um, Double Eye Serum. So let's start with the hyaluronic acid first. Since my eyes are dry from taking a shower, I can't even open this. I need to give it that plump, okay? So we're gonna take, put enough under the eyes like that. That's how I start. And then I work it in. You have to quickly catch it. Get some form on the hand. And on top of my eyes, sometimes you'll get in your eyes and I don't want to say that's okay, because it's not, but just find a way to take it out. Just massage it across your eyes. You can use any finger. I hear people say, use the index finger and whatnot. I truly, truly don't have time for that. So you can use any finger. Massage it until it absorbs in your skin. Oof, that's quite... That actually went into the eye. Keep rubbing the hyaluronic acid under your eye area. Just keep rubbing it like that. Completely melted into my skin. As you can see, it's very tacky. So this is a perfect time to come in. I'm gonna go in with my Clarence Double Eye Serum right here. This one, I only put it on my fingers. This one's about uh, $98, I believe. So put a little pea size like that. The same thing applies for all the Clarence Serum. You have to warm it up. Warm it up. Warm it up from your fingertips like this. And then you press it in. Pressing it onto your eye. Okay. 
this double eye serum is also anti-aging it works for crow feet works for wrinkles i don't have any wrinkles but it's always better to start fighting the wrinkles early if you are above the age of 25 actually if you are above the age of 23 i say no 23 is too young let's just say 25 you should start using anti-aging products the next step if you are going outside of the house this is the part where you apply your sunscreen okay i'm going to find my sunscreen here so this is the part where you apply your sunscreen so this is a sunscreen that i will use for my face this is the nivea sports face oil free sunscreen is 70 is spf 70 plus if you don't have that you can actually use this nivea sun on your face i know it says body but i have a very sensitive face and if i can use this on my face anyone can use this on their face so if you do not have the neutrogena sports face sunscreen you can use the nivea sun a lotion it's sunscreen and a moisturizer all right now this is if you have to go out of the house in the morning but if you don't have to go out of the house like today i'm not going outside this morning so i'm going to apply my apple tube for spot treatment i'm going to spot treat my face as you can see all the acne scar this acne i don't know where it came from um it was that time of the month it just my period just ended like maybe a week or so ago so i'm still breaking out i'm not touching it it's gonna heal on its own but i'll just rub this over it so take a very tiny size like so and put it only on the spots where i have the dark spots so i'm spot treating normally all of this cheek has dark spot on it so I'll put a good quantity over there and then the rest I'll just spot treat my forehead where you see the dots on there. So I'm gonna rub this in. See how I'm not just rubbing it all over my face, right? I'm putting it exactly, I'm putting it only precisely on the problem areas. Anywhere there's a dark spot, that's where I will put it. So we have some here, some here. You only need a very small quantity, okay? You don't need much. So this side is where I have all the dark spots. So I'm just gonna smear it all over. I'm smearing it on the acne too. Just smear it all over there. This jawline is riddled with acne spots. So there you go. Because we washed our hands before we started this procedure, now I'm going to use my Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Oil Mist as my hand cream. You can use anything, any oil, any moisturizer, anything that you can put your hands, you can put your hands on. Um, I will either use this or I will use this. Doesn't really matter. This is Bath and Body Works. Any cream you can find of Bath and Body Works, they're very moisturizing. So you can see this one is almost out. I have squeezed it terribly, but now I'm in the mood to use this oil. So I'm gonna spray it in my hair like that. Rub it in like so. Between the fingers, and this is how I prevent dark knuckles and discolored hands. That is simply it. I'm, I don't do anything special. That's it. And when I'm in the shower, I really focus on scrubbing the hands like. I'm really scrubbing them with my sponge twice a day every day because I shower twice a day I shower two times a day so I do it two times a day every day and then I always wash my hands after I'm done and then I use a moisturizer like a back and body wash moisturizer or a natural oil like this so as you can see that's what my hands look like my knuckles everything looks okay all right now I'm going to put some lip balm this is a lip balm that i've been using for a while now this the laneige lip balm you find it at sephora I forgot how much it sold i'm almost out of mine see i already hit hit the bottom okay let me get so now i'm gonna apply some lipstick lip gloss <laughs> actually sorry so this is i love fancy lip glosses one of my favorite lip glosses so this is a new release it's called the Fuchsia Flex number 12. This is what it looks like. 
I really love it. So I just put that on my lips. There we go. That is my morning face routine.